Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to One Piece, episodes 669, 670 and 671. Some great episodes again, I really love these episodes. There's a lot going on now, it's definitely getting nearer to the end. It's not totally the end because I know that there's just so much going on that it's going to take some time. Um, but wow, um, so okay, so firstly, um, so Luffy, Zoro, Kinnaman and um, Viola, they've entered the palace, they've infiltrated it, um, and Doflamingo was very angry about that. Um, so Pika, we finally got to meet Pika. Pika, he is, um, he's the stone stone fruit man, so he ate the stone stone fruit, so basically he can manipulate and become stone. Um, he didn't talk at all, which I found a bit strange, um, but he was very strong, like he couldn't, like even if we cut him and Luffy and Zoro and, um, yeah, Luffy and Zoro, I guess, um, Viola couldn't do anything, but like um, Luffy and Zoro, they were like trying to cut him up and be like basically punch. Luffy could punch, so he was punching all the stones away. And so he's easily breakable, but the thing is, he's easily reformable at the same time. So he's going to constantly reform after you break him. And that was the problem. Um, so he he just kept reforming and he's basically trying to block their access to getting to Doflamingo. Um, <clears throat> so that's why he appeared, because um, Luffy wants to defeat Doflamingo and bring justice. Um, so, and then later on Zoro took the initiative to fight um, Pika one on one to allow Luffy to get to Doflamingo, to allow Luffy and Viola to get to to Doflamingo. So Zoro had to stay behind to fight him. Um, it's just the very beginning of the fight so I don't know what's gonna happen next regarding that but I'm so excited. I really want to see what Zoro's proper upgrade is. Like he trained with Mihawk for two years so surely his hacky has really really been improved. Um, so um, I mean, in Punk Acid, we saw the fight with Monet, um, and that was really good, um, but it didn't really showcase that much in terms of his hacky, um, so I'm interested in, like, whether he's going to use hacky in this fight, because he's going to need to, considering that um, just simply cutting him up is not actually doing anything. Um, so, yeah, Zoro needs to, like, level up on that. <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes and then meanwhile the Tontada tribe with Usopp and Robin they are on a really difficult mission um, so their plan is to defeat Sugar and Treble. So the Tontada tribe, Leo said that he's going to use this, he's going to disguise uh, the grape so basically Sugar eats grapes like 24 7, she doesn't seem to stop eating grapes um, so he's going to disguise a grape to actually be the hottest spice ever and that should knock her out so it's going to disguise it as a grape um for her to eat when it's actually a really really hot spice um unfortunately that plan didn't work she actually noticed a difference with that and i was like thinking is it because of her eyeglass because they showed like how all the other grapes were like colored out they were great and then there's this one grape in the middle i don't know if that was for us to notice which one was the spice but or she was noticing that herself through the eyeglass that she had um regardless she spotted a difference with that is it the size of it because it did seem a bit bigger than the others but i'm not entirely sure um regardless that didn't work so leo i don't i don't know why that was such a bad idea to do. So Sugar's ability is that she can turn everything into toys um, by using her fingers, by using her hands. Um, so, you know, you can't just go head on and fight her. Otherwise, she'll just touch you and you instantly turn into a toy. And not just that, but she'll actually control your move movements. So she's a controller. She's a puppet master, basically. So half of the Tontada tribe were basically, well I wouldn't say half, like some of them, some of the Tontada tribe, the ones that were coming after her, they got, they all got turned into toys, um, so, so she basically has an army now, 
Um, so she had to get so good thing is that Treble wasn't with her when that was done um, because Robin disguised herself obviously Robin and Usopp they disguised themselves as workers um, for Do Flamingo um, factory workers um, and they Robin told Treble about an incident that because the Pink Bee Squad were attacking another set of workers um, so he wanted to make Treble get away from sugar um so yeah that, so robin succeeded in that but then treble clocked on that she's actually one of the straw pirates um so it seems that robin may have to fight him um but then he like used his sticky sticky fruit to like literally launch a whole entire ship to attack the tower and I was like, that's a little bit reckless considering that you might not know where Sugar is standing. Um, not that she really moves, but like, I just thought that was a little bit odd. But he seems very powerful, the fact that he like took out that bee that was like flying around and like he just zapped it and then it just made this huge hole on the wall. Um, so... Anyway, I have faith in Robin. I really hope that Usopp steps up his game and doesn't cower out out of this, doesn't become, doesn't chicken out of, of this. Um, yeah, I hope this is Usopp's moment to shine. Like, surely Herakuzen, the one that he was with for like two years, taught him a few tricks um, combat-wise, um, as well as using his tools. Um, so, yeah, I, I really hope... He does something to help the Tonto tribe because it seemed like in a lot of trouble and trouble is now coming his way to save Sugar because Sugar was like announcing that it was all a trap and that she wants Treble's help. So she seems very dependent on Treble even though she has a very capable ability actually. Um, I think she can hold her own really but I mean it is what it is um so anyway um yeah so that's what's going on Zoro versus Pika has just died and oh my god Sabo so we just got a glimpse into what Sabo can do um so in the Colosseum, Colosseum fight because obviously Sabo is taking part in the Colosseum fight um and he um he obviously wants the devil fruit he's not really interested in fighting anyone but jesus burgess he um he wanted to attack sabo um sabo used his dragon claw ability which is um so he used armament haki and he called it the dragon claw and he sort of like oh man i'm trying to like how did he do it it was was it like this so it was like a drag and claw. he called it dragon claw it looked like claw ability um and i was like wondering like he must have got taught by dragon to do that because i do know he's part of the revolution revolutionary group a revolutionary army so he must have been a f he must have sought robin then because robin also technically joined the revolutionary group as well so they must all know each other surely I'm just starting to like talk about this now, but I mean, I just recently realized this myself. Um, anyway, that's off topic, but like, well, he's very strong. He was able to completely destroy Burgess's armor just by doing that. Um, so his hacky is very good. Um, yeah, that that's all I can say f for now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, uh, is a very sticky situation with Tontana Tribe because um, Sugar and Tribe are not people to underestimate and now she has like a bit of an army out of the in control over some of the Tontana Tribe people um, unfortunately that grape thing didn't work um, anyway uh, we'll see how Zoro does against Pika in the next couple of episodes and um yeah i don't know when luffy is gonna fight doflamingo because things can get delayed so there's no doubt about that and also toei soldier is up against laoji we finally saw laoji in these episodes and he seems to be a, a completely skilled martial artist and he was just beating the crap out of toy soldier so i'm really worried about toy soldier i really hope he doesn't die because his dur his body is not durable at all as a toy so um He's strong, but he's not durable, that's the thing. So, 
I hope he's okay, he gets some assistance or something. Um, anyway, uh, that's my thoughts. What do you think of these episodes? Let me know. Stay tuned for more.